In this video, we focus on exponential and logarithmic equations. What do we mean by exponential and logarithmic equations? These are equations that involve some exponential term or logarithmic terms. For example, we may see something like this, e to 2x equals 10. This is exponential equation because it involves some exponential uh, term. And this equation log x plus 6 minus log x plus 2 equals for example 1 this is a logarithmic equation because it involves logs as functions so we have for example here log of x plus 6 here log x plus 2 so these are logarithmic terms so that means we have exponent uh, logarithmic equation now how to solve logarithmic and exponential equations we need to remember two main things first one this property a to the x equals a to the y if this is correct as you can see the base is the same it's a then x equals y the exponents will be the same and this is correct even in the other direction i mean if x equals y then a to the x equals a to the y this is an important property that helps us to solve exponential equations And we have another property. If x, if log a x equals log or base a log x equals base a log y, then that means x equals y. And if x equals y and we take base a log, then we still have same thing, same, uh, the, these are equal equal base a log of x equals base a log y and this is very helpful in uh, solving logarithmic equations okay now keeping this in mind and uh, how to to convert from converting from logarithmic to exponential for example log base a of x equals y this is equivalent to a to the y equals x this is exponent exponential form and this is logarithmic form so this is how we convert from logarithmic to exponential and vice versa these are very helpful uh, notes now let's take some examples of logarithmic and exponential equations and see how to solve them solve the following equations first we have 4 to the x equals 16 we want to solve this that means we want to find the value of x this is exponential we can solve it by writing this the right hand side by applying the first property i mean we want the base to be the same the base here is 4 but 16 can be written as 4 squared so we have 4 to the x equals 4 squared the base is the same that means the exponent must be the same that means x equals 2 is the solution now sometimes we can do this step I mean for example if we have 7 to the x equals 12 now how to solve this equation as you can see we can try it 12 as 7 to some power because it's not multiple of 7 so what should we do in this case if we can't do that then we need to use the second the third property uh, how to convert from exponential to uh, from logarithmic from exponential form to logarithmic form so we take log base 7 of both sides And then after taking log base 7, 
we can simplify we can have a power here the power can be brought here in front of the log and we have log base 7 of 7 equals base 7 log of 12 the, but we know that this is equal to 1 because the base is the same as the input or the inner for, inner value so we have x times 1 equals x log base 7 of 12 and if we use a calculator we can get uh, some value for this now let's take another example now but just a note we can use natural log of both sides as well some people prefer to use natural log every time instead of using uh, different logs for example here we used log base 7 because we have 7 to the x but some people just prefer to use natural log every time and if they you if you use natural log you should get uh, this this problem handled very easily as well so if we have 3 to the 2x minus 1 I mean here let me solve it using natural log ln so if we want to use natural log we just take natural log of both sides and then we bring this here and then divide by natural log of 7 and use the calculator to get some value like 1.277 now let's do this problem this is another exponential function it's 0.4 to the x plus 2 as we can see we can't convert 3 to some 0.4 to some power raised to some power so we take natural log of both sides or log base 3 so let's take natural log of both sides and then we can bring the powers here in front of natural log 2x minus 1 natural log 3 equals x plus 2 natural log 0.4 and then we can distribute natural log in the left hand side we have 2x natural log 3 minus natural log 3 or this can be written as 2 natural log 3 times x but this, this will not affect our final answer so same thing here x natural log 0 0.4 plus 2 natural log 0 0.4 and then we group terms with x so this term includes x this term includes x so we bring this here we get 2x natural log 3 minus x natural log 0 0.4 equals on the right hand side we have 2 natural log of 0 0.4 and we can bring this here becomes negative it becomes positive because it was negative and then we take x as a common factor of the left hand side so we have x2 natural log 3 minus natural log of 0.4 equals 2 natural log 0.4 plus natural log 3 and last thing is to divide by this except this number so x equals 2 I mean both sides we have to divide both sides by this number 2 natural log 3 minus natural log 0.4 and using calculator we find that this is equal to negative 0.236 and actually we can make some simplifications here and here and then do it this way find the final answer but since we can use calculator we can leave it in this form let's do another example if we have e to the x equals 200 we can take solve this problem by taking natural log of both sides and then this brings the power here but we know that natural log of e is equal to 1 because natural log of e is log base e of e and since those are the same the answer is 1 
so x equals natural log of 200 that's that gives us 2.302 now another example e to 2x minus 4 e to the x plus 3 equals 0 this is well known example um, in the in this section so if we look at this uh, equation we have e to the x it's repeated it's here and here and but if you look at the 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 function or the the left hand side uh, and try to connect it with, with something we learned before this remind us of some equation like this x squared minus 4x plus 3 so this is the idea this is very sim similar to the trinomial so let's convert it into this form and then solve it now how to do that we write e to 2x as e to the x squared minus 4 e to the x plus 3 equals 0 now let y equals e to the x so just replace e to the x with y the equation becomes y squared minus 4y plus 3 equals 0 now solve this equation this quadratic equation this is no longer no longer uh, exponential equation so we have y y 3 and 1 negative negative so we have y equals 3 and y equals 1 but what is y y is e to the x right equals 3 and e to the x equals 1 now we solve these two equations exponential equations by taking natural log of both sides so this becomes natural log e to the x natural log 3 and then we bring x here x natural log e equals ln 3 but this is equal to 1 x equals natural log 3 this is one solution and here for this one natural log e to the x equals natural log of 1 we can bring x here in front of natural log but natural log of 1 is 0 and then we define but we also know that natural log of e is 1 so that means x equals 0 so the solution set we have more than one solution consists of 0 and natural log of 3 now let's take some examples on logarithmic equations solve the following logarithmic equations For example, log base 2 of x cubed minus uh, 19 equals 3. Now we want to solve this. So one technique to solve this is to, to convert it into exponential form. I mean to use number 3. So let's convert it into... exponential so we do that by focusing on the base the base is 2 and log represents the power so the power is 3 this is equal to the inner function or the inner ex expression and then 2 to the th power 3 is 8 equals x cubed minus 19 then add 19 to both sides you get x cubed equals 27 and that means x equals 3 so the solution is x equals 3 now we can check this if this is solution is acceptable by plugging x equals 3 here into the original equation we have 3 cubed it's 27 minus 19 is greater than 0 so we are fine because sometimes you get some some solution that does not satisfy it does not belong to the domain i mean that gives us a negative value inside the log and that's not allowed so we need to exclude that from the solution set another example log x plus 6 minus log x plus 2 equals log base 10 those are logs base 10 so as we can see if we see more than one log on one side we try to apply one of the properties of logs if we have same log base same base log and we have subtraction that means we have division we can write it as a single log with division 
the numerator is x plus 6 and the denominator is x plus 2. On the right hand side we have log x and then we can use property 3 property 3 or property 2. Property 2 says if we have same log on both sides and we have x and y inside the logs uh, I mean log x equals log y then x equals y the inner values or expressions are the same that means we can drop the logs from both sides using property or note 3 we can drop the logs from both sides of the equation so this becomes x plus 6 equals x plus over x plus 2 equals x and then we solve this equation we can cross multiply these to get uh, x plus 6 equals x squared plus 2x I mean when we multiply x by x plus 2 we get x squared plus 2x and then we bring this to the right hand side because in the right hand side we have x squared so x squared plus 2x minus x minus 6 equals 0 we, when we bring this to the right hand side it becomes negative so we have x squared 2x minus x is x minus 6 equals 0 then we solve this quadratic equation we have 3 and 2 plus and negative equals 0 that means we have 2 equations here x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0 let's solve this this gives x equals negative 3 this gives x equals 2 now let's see if both of them or one of them or which one of them uh, which of them is um, solution can be considered as a solution so we choose let's start with x equals negative 3 we substitute it here into the original equation when we substitute negative 3 we have negative 3 plus 6 that's positive 3 we are fine because it's a positive number inside log that's fine and here negative 3 negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 inside log that's not allowed or not acceptable this is impossible because it does not belong to the domain let's try the other value x equals 2 and when we substitute it here we have 2 plus 6 that's 8 greater than 0 we are fine here 2 plus 2 is 4 and that's okay here on the right hand side 2 log 2 is defined so yes that means the solution is x equals 2 because the domain is x greater than 0 another example if we have log base 2 of 3x minus 7 times x minus 4 equals 3 now as we can see we can we have log on one side so it's better to uh, apply the third property or the third note that we convert into exponential form so the base is 2 this represents the power equals this expression 3x minus 7 times x minus 4 and then 8 equals we distribute this we have 3x squared minus 12x minus 7x plus 28 so 8 equals 3x squared minus 19x plus 28 subtract 8 from both sides you get 3x squared minus 19x plus 20 equals 0 we can solve this using uh, different methods one method that we learned in class is the following we write 3x 3x over 3 as you can see the leading coefficient is 3 so we write it here here and here and then we have x squared so we write it here and here and then we try to find two numbers where the product is a times c I mean 60 and the sum is the middle term or the coefficient of the middle term negative 19 what are the two numbers the two numbers are 15 and 4 negative 4 
negative 15. If you multiply them, you get positive 60. If you add them together, you get negative 19. And then let's simplify. We can simplify the first expression. Take 3 as a common factor, you get x minus 5. And the second one, we don't have anything in common. We divide by 3, cancel these, you get x minus 5 times 3, x minus 4. So what are the solutions? This is equal to 0, that means x minus 5 equals 0, 3x minus 4 equals 0. We solve x equals 5, we solve this to get x equals 4 thirds. Now let's check if they, are, if they belong to the domain. x equals 5, let's substitute it here. 3 times 5, 15 minus 7 is positive. Five, uh, 3, sorry, 5 minus 4 is positive. Positive times positive is positive inside the log, so this is allowed. Let's try the other one, the other value, x equals 4 thirds. Let's do it here, a different color. 3 times 4 thirds minus 7. This is 4 minus 7, it's negative 3. And then the second one, 4 thirds minus 4 is, now we try to get a common denominator. So we have 4 minus 12, which is negative 8 over 3. Now negative times negative, because we multiply the expressions, that gives positive. That means this value is allowed as well. So the solution set is 